Hi, it's John here from GPS Training, and welcome to the latest edition of FAQs. In this series, we answer the most frequently asked question we get asked about specific subjects. The subjects we're going to be looking at in this video are Ordnance Survey Maps on a Garmin GPS Unit. Can I, and how do I, update the Ordnance Survey Maps, and do I really need to? So I'll be answering four questions in this short video. First question is, why have Ordnance Survey Mapping, or OS Maps, on a Garmin GPS unit when it already, com already comes preloaded with Topo Active Mapping? The second question I'll be answering in this video is, how do I update the Ordnance Survey Mapping on a Garmin GPS unit? The third question is, how often do Ordnance Survey update their maps? And the final question is, does anything actually change on OS maps. So the first question is, why have Ordnance Survey mapping on a Garmin GPS unit when it already comes preloaded with Topo Active Mapping? The reason for this is the Topo Active Mapping does not show us rights of way. In England and Wales, less of an extent in Scotland, we have trespass laws, and therefore we need to know where we can go walking, which is footpaths, bridleways, byways open to all traffic, and also to a lesser extent, permissive footpaths, and also in some ways, open access areas. The problem with the topo active mapping that comes preloaded on Garmin GPS units, it just shows everything is a path. It doesn't say if it's a footpath, bridleway or frankly a private drive and therefore to navigate in the countryside we really need ordnance survey mapping on our gps unit and therefore this is why we add that when we buy our gps unit as you more already most probably know it's best to buy it in with your unit the ordnance survey mapping because you buy it at a discounted rate. So the answer number one is, we need the ordnance survey mapping on a Garmin GPS unit because it shows us rights of way, is where we are legally allowed to go, where the topo active mapping does not give us that information. The second question is, how do you update the ordnance survey mapping on a Garmin GPS? The answer is, you cannot. Sadly, there's no way of updating um, the ordnance survey mappings whether you've actually downloaded those directly from Garmin or you've bought them on an Ordnance Survey mapping, or, 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 sorry, on a map card or a micro SD card to go in the back of your unit. The only way to update it is wait for the next version to come along, buy a new micro SD card or download the latest version, but you will have to pay for that again. So answer the question, how do you update the OS maps on a Garmin GPS unit? The answer is you can not. Third question, how often do OS update their mapping? Ordnance Survey release a quarter of the country every year as a map update, and therefore Garmin update their map cards every four years. So every four years we get a new version, at the moment we're up to Topo Great Britain Pro version two, and we're about halfway through that cycle. In another two years time, we'll get another map update, which I suspect will be version three. Does anything, and then the final question is, does anything actually change on an Ordnance Survey map? I often say to people, how often do you actually update your paper maps? If you've got your paper map and you go to the Lake District and you've not been there for six years, do you actually go into the shop and buy a new one for £9.99? I suspect the answer is, no you don't. You use the same paper map that you had a number of years ago when you were last in that area. So that kind of answers that question. Not an awful lot changes on, on, on and survey map. Yeah, housing estates may grow, roads may be added, but actually your rights of way, where we can go walking, footpaths, bridleway, byways, byways open to all traffic, these do not change an awful lot. So as long as you've got a, a map card that's been in the last, I don't know, seven, eight, 10 years, as long as it shows the open access areas of going for one to 25K mapping, there's actually not that much need to update the maps within a Garmin GPS unit. I'll be honest with you, the maps in my unit are actually the generation four, they're not the version two, the version one. And I've walked thousands of miles with them and I've never come across where the footpath is on the ground where it's incorrect on the Ordnance Survey mapping or vice versa. So my, my thought is, uh, yeah, I don't think there's that much need to update those maps. 
I very much hope this has helped to answer some of the questions that you've been that you've been pondering in regards to updating the maps on um, your Garmin GPS unit, especially relating to ordnance survey mapping. If you have a subject you would like to be answered to FAQs on in future videos, please just leave a comment in the comment box below. And as always, many thanks for your continued support from myself, both from myself and all the team here at GPS Training. It's very much appreciated.